Last year, Puppet Labs conducted a DevOps survey that had over 4,000 respondents from more than 90 different countries. We had respondents from all sorts of different company sizes. Over half of them were from the IT and operations department, and about three quarters of them were the actual implementers. So what did the DevOps survey tell us? Well, DevOps adoption is increasing. Over 50% of organizations were using DevOps practices in 2011, and up to 63% in 2012. That's a 26% increase. So what is DevOps? Well, it's collaboration between development and operation teams to achieve a common goal. Organizations can ship code 30 times more frequently. There's also 50% fewer failures that happen with the ability to recover about 12 times faster. So how can organizations achieve high performance? Well, we saw two common practices. First, 89% use version control to manage and store infrastructure changes. Secondly, about 82% use some sort of automation in their code deployments. In the end, DevOps gives organizations more agility and reliability. So what were some of the most common ways to overcome barriers to DevOps adoption? Well, we found that some of the most common blockers were that the value of DevOps was not very well understood outside of their group. There was a lack of manager buy-in or a lack of team buy-in. We recommend creating open channels of communication in order to build empathy and break down silos between organizations. This can feed into a DevOps action plan where you can, first of all, automate a single pain point, then collect data on that success. So you can then communicate the value, rinse and repeat the same process with the next pain point. So what can you do to stay ahead of the curve? Well, demand for DevOps skills is growing. So what are these skills that people hiring for DevOps roles are looking for? Coding or scripting skills, people skills, process re-engineering skills, and finally experience with a specific set of tools. The new sysadmin needs to have skills across the boundaries of the traditional IT silos. So you can help us see what the latest trends of DevOps are by participating in this year's DevOps survey.